All right, hello there, guys. So this is going to be a test of the, hopefully the final setup for a stream I'm planning to do either tomorrow, which is uh, Monday the 8th, or we're going to be doing a stream of Tuesday the 9th. Either way, my schedule's a little messed up right now, so I'm kind of hoping it'll settle tonight, tomorrow, and we can get this done in the afternoon uh, tomorrow-ish, hopefully. This is going to be kind of a test to see how well things work so the focus of the stream is going to be retro video games and as we can see here i'm currently in turok 2 the hd remaster or re-release whatever you want to call it what i want to do is i want to test how clean everything transitions because currently i have a bunch of scenes here and if i reach down we should get not sure if sound's gonna come through yet, but I have the G4 starting up because there's some games I want to play on that for the stream. And hey, face cam for once. Um, but if we go and transition over to capture card four by three, we have this here. Now the problem is for whatever reason, the capture card has to be reinitialized every time I want to do something with it. So, I'm switching my main monitor over to the capture card, and it's booted into OS X, but the capture card's picking up nothing, so what I have to do is I actually have to delete the capture card. I don't know why OBS does this, and it's really annoying. Anybody has some like last minute information on why this happens. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the capture card. Add a video capture device. Add existing capture card. And interesting, it's not coming back up. Oh, there it goes. It takes some prodding to get it to come up. And now one of the games I want to play here is Alice. And well, the problem with that is it's a four by three aspect ratio game. And the stream uh, scene, getting my terminology mixed up here, is for a four by three aspect ratio thing. So what I have to actually do is you can't see me. Well, actually we can go ahead and bring my Twitter and webcam back over the capture card. But now what I have to do is I have to go and get the disk image for the game, which I believe is in documents. I call it Alice Maybe because I, I was experimenting with uh, making a disk image for this because it expects a CD to be in the drive and well, I don't have the disc, so what we have to do is we have to do this, and this is going to glitch out a little bit. This doesn't follow normal 4x3 aspect ratio, or it trips up the, the capture card. Something happens, I don't know, but as we can see, it's not exactly center. So I have to adjust this on the fly, and every time it forgets the capture card, like, I have to do this song and dance every single time. Load game, just have it up and ready. I have the keyboard all the way over here. I'm going to reach over and... Come on. There we go. All right. So now I have to go through this big old song and dance where I select this, hold down Alt, and we just crop it ourselves. And this is really annoying, especially if I have to do this like on the fly as we're streaming. I'm hoping what I can do is I can just set it once at the beginning of the stream and then we're done with it. So then I like just grab it over here and we drag this out. And then we put my webcam under the capture card. And you can still see me, but now we have the game. 
and we can go back to the game. And I can play. Get wrecked. Now what I want to be able to do is get a clean transition going here. So now if I want to transition out of 4x3, I can go, yeah, and that works. So now I can swap between the two. And we're good. And I'm going to go ahead and just restart. This is more of just an extra, I guess, because I'm just kind of playing around with this before we actually get onto a stream. I don't want this to break during a stream. That would suck. And this is, of course, using the HD60S Plus that Elgato so kindly sent to me for free in exchange for the regular HD60S because the M1 upgrade program. Again, very kind of them to be doing that. But we're going to go ahead and bring this up in OS 9. See how it handles. Even though I really don't need to be playing Unreal Tournament because that's the only game I have that will that runs in OS 9 as of right now. Don't need to really play it on here because, well, <laughs> I have it on my like my actual computer that I'm playing Turok on, and I could just fire it up there and it'll, it'll look a lot better and have full support for 16 by 9 resolutions and all that. So that's coming up. I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to the capture card. It's going to blank out a minute. Or maybe, okay. And I have the capture card running pass through to my center monitor, which is where my fingers are pointing. And so I, I'm seeing this as you guys are in full glorious 1080p, but it's actually scaling the output, so you won't see it in 1080p. You'll be seeing it in slightly lower. I may believe, like, I don't know what this is set at. But I have it scaled down to make good, better use of the bitrate. It's a little over 10, uh, 720p. But I have it scaled so that way you can see, like... But it's more detailed with less artifacting, but a lower resolution. As you can see, here's Mac OS 9. And... Mmm, glorious, glorious, tasty. Uh, platinum sounds and all that wonderful stuff narrating as I go, so <laughs> it's not going to be edited either, so I'm going to have a lot of, like, moments where I let my brain kind of catch up to what my mouth is saying. Anyway, I'm also testing the audio routing, because as of right now, I have this routing through, uh, I have a, uh, 3.5 millimeter cable going between the G4 and my HD60S, because it does have a line input on it, or, or mic input, and I'm using that to run the audio. And I also have Windows letting me listen to the HD60 so I can hear it through the uh, the speakers. I'm kind of testing the delay here. You guys can kind of hear it. Actually, you guys are probably hearing it twice. I have desktop audio on, so let me turn that off. Because OBS is capturing the capture card audio because I do have it, its audio set to look at the mic input. The monitors. Yep, everything looks good. Everything looks good. Yeah, and then when I'm done, I can go ahead and just shut this down. And then I could drop back into Turok. That aside. Oh, that. Yeah. As we can see, and then we got our retro video over here, too. Except now I have desktop audio turned down, because I guess it's global setting. Let's turn it back up. And then... I don't know why this is on. We'll turn that off. 
And now you guys can hear the glorious sounds of Turok. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to jump up these ladders, but I've never been able to. friendly <laughs> in the slightest but yet yeah, I played it when I was like 10 years old and had a blast with it hopefully the frame rate's looking good I'll have to check the recording yeah, why am I, oh. like why am I why am I on my explosive cell shells that's not good Take the audio down just slightly here. God, the pistol is weak. I realize I am going about this the completely wrong way. There we go. Heck arrows exist. I forget this. And they are fun. Also, that is new, I feel. Like, Night Dive added that in after the fact, I feel. Like, the ability to just grapple up and grab onto things. Pretty cool little addition. So I'm wondering if... Yeah. But that's a... I like that they put these in, too. Like, not Night Dive, but just um, Acclaim when they made this game. Or Iguana. Like, reloadable ammo pickups. Yeah, that's really just a quick demo of this whole thing actually in practice. I'm going to upload it just so you guys have some bonus content. And I do have another video actually going up alongside this. So if you see this first, it should be coming shortly after. Because both are going to be uploaded in tandem. So hopefully you enjoyed this. And, well, hopefully nothing goes wrong. And I can actually get to the stream tomorrow or uh, Tuesday at the latest. And it will be here on YouTube because... For whatever reason, Twitch, every time I stream over there, I get no engagement whatsoever. So, not going to bother with it. Don't even know why I have that in my Twitter bio to this day. But, yeah. Hopefully, 4x3. And, boop. Transitions all work. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow or the next day. Till then, bye for now.